Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Hope Is Gone. And if you want Hope to be gone, the links and the details are of course down below in the description as usual, alright? This is going to be a first person survival horror experience. I'm going to be playing as a woman called Zoe exploring a parallel dimension. A dimension where people from our world aren't welcome. I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments either way though. Thank you in advance. This is Hope Is Gone. Okay, a few months ago my husband Jonathan and I were involved in a serious road accident. Luckily I came away with only a few scratches, but my husband has been in a coma ever since. He's not improved his condition. He does not respond to any sensory stimuli. I no longer believe he can come out of this. I am in so much pain. If I had known it would be like this, I would have been in his shoes. If I could go back in time and not make the decisions I made. Yesterday, I decided to drown it all in a bottle of wine. And how did that end up going? Oh, not too well. Oh, my head hurts! Wow! I think I drank too much last night. I need to take some medicine. Okay. Here we are then. Welcome to Hope Is Gone. Okay, W, A, S, and D to move. Mm-hmm. Yep, E to use. I kind of had to figure that out to look at this in the first place, but fair enough. <laughs> Escape or P, okay. Right. No medicine around here. Let's see, let's explore. Alright. Can I use the toilet? No, don't need to go. What about a cold shower? No? Ah, probably that down there. Okay, so all items you pick up will appear in your inventory. So it's tab or I for the inventory. Okay. Alright. Okay, so this is me, Zoe. Alright, let's use it. There you go. Much better. <laughs> if only it was that easy, right? Oh, it's the TV I can hear, is it? Can we turn that off? There we go. Right. Let's see, do I want a bite to eat? Hmm. What we got around here? Oh. Hold on. Is there a phone around here? Ah, oh, there it is. Zoe. What do you want, Richard? And I just wanted to know how you are. How Jonathan is. Do you care? You almost destroyed my life. Forgive me. I didn't mean to do it. I don't want you calling after me anymore. Huh. You almost destroyed your life? Uh, maybe I collided with him in the car. Right, so can we go this way? No? I guess that would be the front door. Hmm. Definitely can't take a shower. Do we go back to bed? Hmm, hold on. Alright. What's this? Go to the hospital? Oh, alright, so there's a files tab as well? Let's see. Okay, so inventory items and files. A letter from Dr. Hans. Dear Mrs. Zoe Lacerda, I am deeply saddened to write this letter. I'm Dr. Hans Sauerkraut. <laughs> Lovely name. The doctor responsible for the care of uh, her husband, Jonathan, admitted to our intensive care unit, ICU. After a careful assessment, unfortunately, we came to the conclusion that the injuries resulting from the accident are irreversible. In view of this, I would like to request her presence at the hospital so that we can discuss the possibility of signing a term of disconnection from the devices that keep her husband alive. We'll be available to provide any support you need during this difficult process. Yours sincerely, Dr. Hans Crack. Wait. Dr. Hans Sauerkraut? Dr. Hans Crack? Which one is it? Uh, anyway, right. We need to go to the hospital, it seems. And now we can leave? Now we can leave. Okay. Alright. Uh, which way is it? Am I going to be taking the bus? Hmm. Doesn't seem like I want to call anyone. Wait for the bus? Uh, no, not yet. What else can I do? Looks like I can go across the road. Have a look at this little park. Uh-huh, okay. I think I'm done. <laughs> Nothing to find over here by the looks of it, so yeah. Let's go and wait for that bus. Oh, that music is so familiar. Is that Silent Hill? Or something very, very close to it. Alright. 
Let's see. No. I'm having a bit of a doze. I suppose I'm still hungover, right? What the fuck? What happened to this bus? When I picked it up, it was normal. Now it's broken and rusty. And who the hell are you? Ma'am? Call me Medarak. Medarak. Different name. Uh, could you let me know where I am? Somewhere you certainly shouldn't be. Another person lost in this decadent world. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Look around carefully. You should go back home. There's only misery here. This must be some kind of dream. I just dozed off on the bus. I would say it's a nightmare that's just beginning. I can't do much for you, but I advise you to keep going on your way to your destination. I was going to the hospital. There's a hospital down the road. It's not far from here. Okay, then just follow the road on foot. It's not that simple. Want some advice? Don't trust anyone here. You're not welcome. Right. Not even you. <laughs> Is that it? Now get out of my face before they see me talking to you. They who? Get out of here! Okay. Right, it looks like we've got another note here. More tutorial? Shift while walking to run. Okay. These have been scaled up, haven't they? <laughs> uh, I don't suppose I can just run back this way to leave this strange dimension, right? There's no reason to go this way. I think there is, but... Yeah, okay. She says I've got to get to my destination. I guess I've got to get to the hospital, right? Weird. Very weird. There's another car here that passed the barrier. But this car's broken and rusty. It looks like it's been here a long time. Yeah. Hmm. Very odd. Okay, this way? So I can run, I can sprint. It seems like there's no stamina? I mean, I guess we'll find out at some point, won't we? Again, another broken and rusty car. And again, it looks like it's been here a long time. Same with that one, I'm sure. Okay. There's an opening to the right. A motel. Hmm. Oh. Right, yeah, it's not as simple as that, she said. Uh, I don't think I brought a ladder with me on the bus, did I? So I don't think I'll be scaling over that. Right, okay, the motel? Maybe we can go around. Alright. Seems okay so far. I've heard this be likened to Nightmare of Decay, which I really, really enjoyed. The door is jammed, okay. Yeah, so that's why I'm giving it a go. Apparently it's a little bit like Nightmare of Decay with a Silent Hill kind of twist, and I can see why. Uh, this looks like it could be opened by some sort of mechanism. Alright. Is that another bus? Alright. I can't open this door. What about the one over here to the right? Again, some sort of mechanism might be able to open it. What about this one here? The door's jammed. Okay, this one? I can't open this door. Why? I don't know. Maybe I just don't want to. <laughs> yeah, it's another bus. An overturned bus. Alright. Let's see. The door's locked from the other side. There's all sorts of excuses. Okay. What's going on here? Is it safe to approach? They, these thorns prevent me from getting through here. Chances are that's the way I need to go, right? That's the way around the barricades on the road. It doesn't seem like there's a, a jump in this game. Or a crouch. Okay, so can't go through there. What about this one? <laughs> I can't open this door. Here? Something's blocking the door. Okay. Is this... Okay, this is a door. But again, I need... <laughs> I need to open it by some sort of mechanism. What the fuck? Over here? Oh my god. Oh, an open window. Right, finally. Okay. 
You know, at this point, I'd probably want to use that. What have we got here, then? An old lantern. Okay. Right, an old and rusty lantern. Terrible, but better than nothing. Okay. So these are my two, like, equipped slots, I guess? That is a little bit better, isn't it? There, there you go. Alright. Oh! This is where we save, it seems. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, I'll keep an eye out for those. I guess we're going through the wall, aren't we? Alright. Oh, wow. Oh, axe to the face, which I'm going to grab, actually. Right, is that... That's a weapon? Alright. I can use it to defend myself. Good stuff. With the axe equipped, press the left mouse button to attack. Uh, you can defend yourself with the right mouse button. Okay. Right. A syringe. Okay, so injectable medicine. Doesn't seem very clean, but I can use it to heal wounds and reduce pain. Good stuff. Can we open this? I'm hearing something from around here. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, boy. Oh. Axe v. Axe, is it? Oh, dear. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, that was, that was close. Oh, careful. Whoa, okay, he's down, he's down, and wow, look at all this blood. <laughs> Alright. Combat seems okay. What do you want here, then? Wait. What was that? Maybe that was the mechanism that I needed to operate in order for those doors to open, right? I unlocked the door. Okay. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, so, well, there were a couple of other doors. Right, so, what about this one? Something's blocking that door. Did this one need the mechanism? Ah, now it works. Okay. Right. Let's see. There's something underneath this. Damn acolytes. Oh. Oh, hello. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I've caught him unawares. Oh, you can chop their heads off? That's fantastic. Okay, brilliant. Right. Oh. Revolver ammo. Ah, I just need to find the revolver now. <laughs> so, hold on. Damn acolytes. I despise these acolytes and their cult. They hanged my friend just because he dared to speak out against their absurd rules. The anger I feel is deep. Almost unbearable. But look. I don't want to end up the same way, so even though my blood boils with rage every time I have to obey their orders, I lower my head and obey. It's a way of surviving, of avoiding the same tragic fate, but there will come a day when we will no longer accept this, when we will unite and fight. Ezdrak will get what he deserves. Ezdrak. Got some weird, weird names in this dimension. Okay. Right, well, I don't see a revolver here. Let's maybe try another one of these doors. So... Let's see. I don't suppose that did anything to those those vines, those thorns. No, it doesn't seem like it. Right. Yeah, there are a few back here. So, we're looking for the, the metallic-looking doors, aren't we? These ones? Yeah. Okay. Can I get this open? I'm definitely going to get ambushed, aren't I? <laughs> oh my. Okay, more medicine. Good stuff. Knock, knock. No? Oh, okay. I'm kind of surprised about that, to be honest. Uh, right. So, yeah, that's where I came from. Ah, this one right at the end. Ah, through the gate we go. Yeah, okay. Into a forest. Alright. Yeah, I quite like this so far. And I can definitely understand the comparisons to Nightmare of Decay. Hello. Oh, oh, okay. I was trying to defend myself. I don't know if it worked. I heard like a metal on metal sound. Oh, wow. Did I just chop your arm off? <laughs> I like the dismemberment. Yeah. And we have a choice, do we? Left or right? 
Let's see. Anything around the corner? Is it a dead end? No. Oh, you know what? For once, I'm actually going right. Let's go up here. I think I can hear breathing again. Yeah. Yes, I can. Hello! Alright, it's a sickle this time. Oh, okay. The AI seems kind of dumb, but I'm okay with that. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely okay with that. <laughs> All right. Let's see, anything around here? There's a corpse, complete with flies. Hmm. All right. Oh, dear. Okay. We can't get this open. Can't chop it up or anything. No. Okay. Fair enough. I'll go around this side or around the back. Can we see? No, I don't think so. Well, hey, extra supplies, right? Extra supplies. Let's head back down this way, and instead of going right, we're going to go left, straight on. It's a sign, but it doesn't say anything. <laughs> All right. Is it this way to the hospital? Doesn't look like a hospital, but, well, I don't know. Looks can be deceiving, I suppose. Around here? Another body, another corpse. They, they don't actually look like the guys that I've been chopping down, though. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Oh, hello again. What was your name? Me Medarak? Medarak, yes. I told you to get lost. How dare you show up at my house? Oh, sorry. I didn't know it was your house. If they catch me, it's all your fault. I didn't find the way to the hospital. I warned you it wasn't that simple, she says. Head to the monastery just ahead. You'll find a way to the hospital. Some people attacked me. It doesn't seem safe to walk around here. And more people will attack. I said, you're not welcome here. But what place is this? You people are strange and crazy. I just want to reach the hospital where my husband's admitted. You're the stranger here. You don't belong in this place. You shouldn't be here. That's why everyone will try to kill you. And how do I get out of this place? First, find out the reason for being here. And I can't help you with that task. Grab the weapon that's right there on the table. You'll need it more than I do. Oh, thanks, but I've never used a gun before. Just aim, shoot, and reload when you run out of bullets. Right. Thank you very much. Okay. So let's see. Equip? <laughs> what did it say? It seems like it'll let me down at any moment. Wonderful. Okay, so left mouse button to shoot. You can aim with the right mouse button. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, pretty standard stuff. Thank you. The gun is not in good condition, but it's the best I can offer you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Got anything else around here? Some wood? Hmm. Oh. Oh! Wonderful! Okay. Thank you. Nice. Up here? <laughs> yeah, I, I know you don't want me here, but I just want to steal as much as I possibly can from you, Madarak. I'm sorry. When in Rome, you know. <laughs> We've all been there. Uh, Alright. There you go. Okay, so, in the front door, out the back? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Seems to work. Alright, now I just need to find someone to use this on. Oh, hello! Oh, okay, alright. I think I missed. But, uh, yeah, I think three headshots seems to blow their brains right out. Brilliant. Oh, okay. Oh, it seems like you can't sprint when you're reloading. Wow, okay. <laughs> you were right up in my face. You got exactly what you deserved. Oh, wow, okay. Well, I think this is where we want to go, isn't it? So, yeah, this holds six rounds. I've got 13 spare. I've got these two, and I can always pull this out again. It seems like you have to go into the inventory to change weapons. don't know if I like that or not. It is quite an old-school kind of thing, I suppose. And that is what this game is trying to emulate. 
The door is locked. It looks like it could be opened by some mechanism. Right, there's something on this left side. It's connected to the door somehow. I need to find whatever this is to put into the into the door. Right. Okay. Alright. I think there was a way to go in the corner and... What's this? A door that's unfortunately locked from the other side. I could probably reach through and sort that out, but... Yeah. Right. This way then? Okay. Oh, a lovely little ramp. Oh. Hello. Did that miss? That didn't. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Is that some more ammo? Next to another dead guy that looks so different. I think these guys might be like me, trapped in this dimension from our world. Not sure though. Okay. I wonder if we're going to come across people that are going to be trying to shoot us as well. There we are. I think I'm getting the hang of this thing. I hear more breathing. I think there's maybe someone else in here. There we go. There we go. Three headshots. I just want to remove as many heads as possible. Okay, and there's another way to go that way. Ooh. Another item? More ammo. Lovely. I think that's all we're going to find around here. Oh. Okay, we can't go in there. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Maybe we're going through the window? No? Oh. We're just finding more ammo down here. Wonderful. Okay. 36 rounds. Not bad. Not bad at all. Something back here? Hmm. The flashlight is a help, but I, I wish it was just a bit more powerful, you know? Right, well, it looks like we're going this way. Okay. Oh, hello. Let's see if I can snipe. Kind of. I gotta say, you know, it might let me down, but it's pretty good so far. Something over there. Is that... I think that's blood that I'm seeing. Another corpse? Another corpse, right. What's all this? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Is that the red tree from Deadly Premonition? <laughs> Kinda looks like it. Am I gonna see Forrest Kaysen around here? Like there's something down there, and oh, hold on. Okay. Combat hasn't been too challenging thus far, especially now that I've got this. Hmm. Right. Hello. Oh, there we go. Don't want to miss my shots. I don't know when I'm going to get the next round of ammo, you know? Oh, hello. Speaking of which, how are we doing? Okay, I've still got 21 rounds. That's not bad. Uh, again, like the cabin last time. I can't go in there. You don't seem to have anything. What's all this? Right. Is that something to do with that wooden door over there? Ah, yeah. One of the fires is lit. Not the other one, though. I guess there's going to be another lever around here somewhere. Let's keep looking for it. Oh, actually, I think I can see it. I can see it up there. Yeah. What's that? More blood? Another body? Curled up in the fetal position, but you don't have anything for me, unfortunately. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, is there a ladder? There's got to be some sort of way up. I definitely can't jump. Hmm. Right. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> the, uh, the combat is simple, but it does feel pretty good, honestly. Hopefully there's going to be uh, more weapons that we get in the future. That'll be nice. And hopefully it becomes a little bit more of a challenge. Maybe we do come across, you know, people with guns themselves. 
Alright. Is it just you in there? Hmm. What's this? Report of the plague. Go on. It's hard to believe what happened. My husband fell sick suddenly. Bloody plague. It doesn't make sense. The acolytes said they would solve the plague problem. They hanged those who didn't follow the rules, killed the sick, and left their bodies lying around. But in the end, it didn't work. The plague is still around. Now they say they found the source of the problem. This place is getting more and more decadent. Hmm. Alright, let's see. They're both lit. I can only assume it's that door opening that I can hear. Right. Let's go and have a look at the deadly premonition tree, I suppose. <laughs> Where did I come from, exactly? Which one? This one? I'll have to check that out in a second. Right, we've got this open. Let's go through. Forest? Oh. Alright, he growls. Oh. Whoa, okay, right. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, you're not you're not going down so easily. Ah, oh, okay. Right, okay, so you're a you're a harder version. Or at least you were, before you lost your head. Right. I don't know if I like the health bar being up all the time either. It'd be nice if it just sort of popped up when you're in combat, or if you were really, really low health. Ah. A twig emblem. Okay. Any red seeds down here? If there are, I should probably leave them alone. A twig emblem. Okay. Oh, there's something over here. More ammo. What are we looking at then? Okay, I've got 18 rounds in total. My ammo supply is dwindling a little bit. Right. Yeah, so there was one way that I didn't go. And I think I... I think I came out here, didn't I? And I shot that person, so... Right. What's... What's down here? Hmm. Okay. Maybe this is going to be the way back, because thinking about it, I don't think I can go the way I came, because it was one way, right? I, I dropped down off of a box. And if there's no jumping, or climbing, or vaulting, or anything like that, I think I'd be stuck. This way? Alright. Well, this is new, I think. Mm, is that for me? Yeah, I'd rather not. Alright. Oh, this door locked from the other side. It's not anymore. Right, so this is going to be my shortcut back, isn't it? Yes, here we go. Here we go. Right. So, I want to put that twig thing here. Okay. Let's try it again. It's working. All right. Here we are then. One of those thorns. Right, let's see. Monastery Entrance Hall. Okay. I guess this is going to be a fairly big area. Let's just take it one door at a time, right? Let's start with this one. Okay. Let's see then. The door is locked. The lock is rusty. Hmm. Okay. Can I destroy the door or the lock? Or do I need like a rusty key or something? Okay. Oh, another one of these boxes. Lovely. Right, I can hear breathing from the other side of this door. Another tree? Right. You're mine. It's another one of the hard ones. Oh boy. Right, yeah, okay. You you need quite a few bullets to the head, apparently. Oh, hello! Ah! The problem with this is I can't defend myself. So, maybe, in a way, it would be better to use the axe. I assume the syringe is probably better, right? Because I've only got the one of them. There you go. That's one way to deal with the health bar problem. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ezdrax notes number one. 
These large red trees are not ordinary trees. They are the pillars of our faith, the remnants of the great tree that once made us prosperous. Preserving and worshipping them is the only way to achieve the salvation of our lands and people. They are an essential part of our effort to bring back the great tree. Anyone who dares to touch them will be punished with death. Wonderful. Right, is that why they're being protected by the big guys? I think I did actually see a painting or something of a tree. Right, is this the great tree? Looks like the Deku tree from Legend of Zelda, a little bit. Right. This way, maybe? Okay, it works. Oh. Ah, uh, alright. What have we got here, then? Hmm. I feel like maybe I should go back. Or maybe I should keep on exploring, I don't know. Oh! Oh, I know where I am. Okay, so, this way? Yeah? So, we've just got the courtyard out the back of the monastery, by the looks of it. What about this way? Oh, yeah. Okay, what about down here? This looks sinister, doesn't it? At least I'm out of the fog. <laughs> now, what's this? Now, this seems to be connected to the door somehow. There are two octagonal-shaped holes. Right. Yeah. It looks like a way to escape from this place, but I can't open it. Not yet, anyway. Hmm. Okay. Right, let's let's go back to this side, this sort of wing of the monastery, and let's keep exploring. I need to find these two octagonal things. Around here? Oh, it looks like we're going up. Okay. I'm hearing breathing. They all breathe very, very loudly, don't they? There you go. Another dead body. Where is this? It's a painting that looks like an ancient place, but it doesn't look like this is the one I'm in. Maybe that's coming later. Yeah. Alright. What else have we got? Some kind of temple? There's a fire burning in it. What about this? A painting of grey mountains. Hmm, yeah. Like the one I just saw. Is that the great tree? Yeah, it's a strange painting of a tree with a face. It gives me the creeps, as it probably should. Oh boy. Right. It's one of you guys. Oh boy, yep. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna get hit again, aren't I? No! I avoided it! Oh, that was it! That was it! Okay, right, I've actually got to pull this out now. I'm out of rounds. Okay. We can have a proper duel if you want. Oh, there you go. I still got your head off. Right, okay, yeah, maybe I should be using this a little bit more. Maybe I should be saving my ammo for the, uh, the big guys. What we got down here? Nothing. Shit. What about this? Can't destroy it? No? Hmm. This one down here? No. Third time's the charm. Oh, it is! Wonderful. Right. Okay, well, let's equip that, reload it, and uh, I think maybe go back to the axe. Yeah. Alright, through here? Okay. There's another box on the floor, and it looks like we can go a little bit higher. Ah, oh, nothing down there, right. Yeah, let's take it just floor by floor, right? Oh. Oh, okay. Right. Well, I can't go that way, obviously. Could maybe go down there. Okay. Let's focus on this wing. Let's head up here. To nothing. There's no opening. <laughs> or is there? I'm on the roof. All right. Okay. Let's see. This screams boss fight to me, honestly. Yeah. I don't know. Not feeling very comfortable here. Ah. Now that I found some ammo, maybe I am. Yeah. Honestly, better to be safe than sorry, right? 
I'm just kind of getting that vibe. This looks like a good arena to, to kill some big enemy, you know? Nothing there? No? Uh, doesn't look like there's anything around here yet. I guess I can go a little bit higher. Another body? Hmm. It hasn't got anything for me. Oh? Yeah, okay, we're getting we're getting health as well. Okay, we're gonna go even higher. For Hello. Who are you? Are you are you normal? Ah, you scared me! I thought you were another one of those strange people! Are you lost here too? Y yes. You're not from here either, are you? I'm lost here too. Maybe not as much as you, since I've been wandering around here for a few months. Months? What place is this anyway? I can't say for sure, but it definitely isn't part of the world we're used to. I'd say it's some parallel world, like some stories I heard when I was a teenager. Parallel world? How did we end up here? I just fell asleep on a bus. I don't know, but I believe we're not here by coincidence. Maybe if we figure out why we're here, we can go back home. By the way, my name's Kyle. My name's Zoe. Well, this place is full of strange people. If I were you, I wouldn't stay here for long. I've seen a lot of people being killed out there. Alright, I'll continue wandering around after having this wine. The only thing not rotten in this place. See you around. Right, yeah, rather you than me at this point. Oh. An octagonal piece, right. I just need to find another one, I think. And it was a rusty key that we needed. Right, thanks, Kyle. Have you seen any red and shiny thorns around? They're everywhere, blocking paths. In the garden, there's a door that needs two pieces to open. It seems there's some relic down there that controls these red thorns. Ah, so that's why we need the octagonal pieces. Got ya. Thanks, Kyle. I guess I'll just leave you to your wine. <laughs> okay. Down we go. I hate climbing down ladders in games. I always get it wrong. I've been playing games for what, like 30 years now? Jeez. How is it that difficult? <laughs> I guess there's still a chance for that boss fight. No? No, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Okay. Right, so where do I go? Well, let's let's take this shortcut back to this uh, this lobby here. Um, I guess I'm going to save because why not? But then I want to go back the way I came because there was that door that was rusty. Was it this one? There you go. Right, it's down here. Oh, a rifle! Oh, lovely. Okay, and what's that? Rifle ammo as well. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's take a look. A 20th century rifle. A bit rusty, but it will surely help me a lot. Nice. Okay. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to be saving this for the big guys. So maybe I can walk around with this a little bit more now. I don't know. Right. So... That was that. Let's go to the other side now, right? The other side, the other wing. Surely that's where I'm going to find the other octagonal piece. Wait, is there something around the corner? No, there's not. Feels like there should be though. <laughs> I don't think that was I don't think that was the same on this side, was it? No, it wasn't. Hmm, strange. Alright. Through here? Yeah, it works. And immediately I hear breathing from that door. So let's maybe choose this one instead. Okay, that actually works. A library? That's what it looks like. Something to read as well. An acolyte's diary. Go on then. I despise humans. These bastards show up here and cause us problems. I hate everything that comes from their world. Esdrak, our leader, has issued severe orders to us. He demands that we track down every human who dares to wander around the village, claiming that this is vital for our own survival and the well-being of our community. Esdrak is a mixture of authority and menace. Fortunately, he shares the same hatred towards these humans as I do. Each one I capture makes me feel more respected by him. 
Only in this way is it possible to have a little dignity in this place. Wonderful. That makes me feel really welcome. Hmm. Chances are I've actually killed that acolyte though, right? And chopped his head off. Or shot him in the face. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's you. Right, well I hate you as much as you hate me. Or hated me, I guess. Right. Oh, oh, was that the other door? <laughs> yeah, I can't open this door. Up here? Why? <laughs> Why would I need to do this? Hello. There you go. Right. Something over here? More ammo, I think. Brilliant. Revolver ammo as well. And of course, I've got that rifle in my back pocket. That's always good. Okay. We should probably investigate that breathing, shouldn't we? Oh, the rusty key again, right. One of the big ones. It's one of the big ones. Okay, hold on, hold on. Where is he? There he is. Right. Okay. What I should be doing, really, is I should be grabbing this. Oh. Get a little bit of distance. Oh yes. Okay. I can't really tell how powerful this is, but it seemed pretty powerful. Let's go back to this and maybe reload it. There you go. Right, okay. So we've got a few boxes as well. Maybe I can... Maybe I can find the second octagonal piece! I was actually thinking about ammo, really, but yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's just use one of these. Get rid of that health bar. <laughs> Shame I can't take that sword, because it seems to be pretty good. Right. So that's where I came from. Where does this go? Oh? Okay. Oh, back out to the courtyard. Oh, actually, yeah, this is going to be a, a handy little shortcut down here to where I use the octagonal pieces, right? One and two. Right. In we go. In we go. And we're going down. Right. Again, I'm getting those sort of boss fight vibes. Oh, no, there's somewhere to save. <laughs> <laughs> There's somewhere to save. This is definitely going to be a boss fight. Oh, and ammo and stuff? No, maybe not. Well, who knows, right? Who knows? Okay. I'm thinking that maybe this should come out. Yeah. And I should probably save the antechamber. Can we go through? Yes, we can. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, this is a boss fight, all right. I want to avoid that. Oh, here he comes. Whoa, boy, here we go. Right. What's that back there? Is that what I want? Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa, careful, careful. Okay, he's, he's pretty slow. And uh, this rifle is as well, actually. Oh, okay. He's slow, but, you know, he hurts. I don't think I've got too many more rounds for this, do I? Oh. That's it! I'm out, I'm out. Okay, right, yeah, I don't really want to tackle him with the axe. Okay. Oh, it, he's down! Hey! No, he's down. Okay, <laughs> he just had to die twice. Alright. For whatever reason, that's now unlocked and... Oh! Hold on. Back to reality? Hi, Zoe. Are you free tonight? Hi, Emily. Yes. Jonathan's working tonight, so he won't be sad if I hang out. Great. Let's go to a party. My brother, Richard's going too. Yeah, let's go. By the way, you said he was going through some personal problems, didn't you? Yes. Taking him to the party with us will help him. And it will help you too. 
Okay. Hmm. And unfortunately, we're back. Right. So, this is going to help with the thorns. A Scarlet Lantern. Right, is that going to replace my flashlight? Hmm. I can't equip it, so I guess not. Right. Let's see. Nothing down there. What about on the other side? Oh, there's nothing down there. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Please, tell me I'm going to find something. I want a resupply. Oh, no! <laughs> Ah, nuts! Okay. Uh, no luck for me, unfortunately. Right. Okay. So you just have to use it, and that's all you need. Okay. Cool. Wait, antechamber night. It did seem darker. Yeah. Yeah, now this flashlight really isn't cutting it. Right, yeah, up we go. So, there was that area, the sort of like, the, the east wing on the first floor, that was, that was all thorned up. I guess I could probably deal with that now, right? Why? I went through before, didn't I? Okay, right, um, let's go, let's go this way. Something is blocking this door. Okay, I'm not liking this. This one? Okay, finally, one of them work. Okay, well, uh, we've just got to go this way, I suppose. Uh-huh. Even that sort of shortcut, that pointless shortcut's gone now. Why are you forcing me to go this way, game? Hmm. I feel I should be alarmed. <laughs> okay. The enemies haven't respawned or anything like that. Not yet, anyway. And then we're back here anyway. Weird. Right, yeah, okay, so this this is where I want to go. So I just check these out. There you go. And they're gone. That lantern's good. Okay. Let's see. The door is jammed. Let's go. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. I really can't afford to waste all that ammo. Right, let's go back to this. So, the door's jammed. What about this one? Yeah. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes they seem to get kind of stunned. <laughs> oh, you tripped. Yeah, sometimes they get stunned and I can get a few hits in. Oh, come on. Oh, what is this? Oh, finally! Revolver ammo! Okay, I'm gonna stick with the, uh, the, the hatchet for now, though. That door's jammed, too. More thorns? Okay. What about in here? I guess this is where a lot of the acolytes stay. This one right at the end? Can't open that door. Okay, alright. Okay, a couple more boxes. A couple more disappointments. Let's see, right? Left. Okay. Another syringe. Okay, alright, alright, I can take that. Two more doors. Hmm, alright. I can hear the breathing. I can hear breathing. Is it coming from here? Well, if it is, I can't open the door. There you go. Oh, whoa! Okay, it's one of him. Right, okay, let's see. I think it's got to be this, isn't it? Okay, right, let's reload. Hopefully these six rounds to the head are going to finish him off. 
Ooh. Okay, there you go. Didn't need all six. Brilliant. Ah, right, what's in here? Oh, wow. A padlock key. Oh, there was a padlock on the entrance door? I had no idea. <laughs> okay, all right, well, yay. I guess I, I needed that, didn't I? What's that over there in the corner? More rifle ammo? Okay. Might as well equip this and reload this as well. Okay. Cool. Yeah, cool. Alright. Back to the hatchet though. There you go. So, we need to get back to the entrance door. We need to use the padlock key. We need to get through and I suppose go back to the motel where those thorns were, right? Yeah, that's where I should be heading. That might take me around to the hospital. Yeah. Okay. Let's save yet again, and uh, let's see. Is there a... Oh yeah, there's a padlock. Well, there was. Out we go. Yeah, it's definitely a lot darker now, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. So yeah, it's straight on, I think. With this low level of light, it's it is kind of spooky. All right, back to her house. She's going to be dead potentially. What did you do to her, Kyle? What happened here? I'm not sure, but it was definitely those damn acolytes. Was it? Who are they? Those people in black and red robes. They're some kind of local cult. Their leader, Ezdrak, has wanted to kill me since I arrived in this world. That blade on his arm gives me the creeps. He tried to kill me too, but I put an end to him. <laughs> You're mistaken. I just saw him heading towards the city. Are there many Isdrax? Or I guess he didn't really die. It can't be. Are you still heading to the hospital? Yes, I believe I'll find answers there. The hospital is in the city where Esdrak is. It would be a shame if you found out you'll be there too. It should be easier to hide at night. I'll try not to make any noise. But you'll need to see. And that flashlight you're using is crap. Take this one. Oh, brilliant! A strong flashlight! Okay. Oh, he's right. This is a lot better. Thank you very much, Kyle. Maybe I should go to the hospital too, he says. I didn't tell you how I ended up here, did I? I was on a road heading home after work. It was a rainy night. Some idiot who seemed to be arguing with his wife drove into oncoming traffic and hit me head on. After that... I only remember being in an ambulance heading to the hospital, and suddenly I was here. Right. Were you in the same accident? Wouldn't be surprised. Really, really wouldn't be surprised. Right. Okay, I'm just going to re-explore the house, hoping to find more stuff. Well, there is something. Esdrax orders. Right. Recently, I received reports that an old woman living in the forest near the monastery named Medarak is collaborating with humans. This is an unforgivable crime with a death sentence. This kind of behaviour only harms our people. After all, humans are despicable creatures with evil potential. Capture Medarak and bring her to the city. We will have a public execution. Wow. So I guess that's what happened to her. She was captured. And she's... she's going to be publicly executed? Jeez. She's lost a lot of blood. She might not even get that far. Right, so yeah, back this way. Um, I think it's to the right here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I think this is going to take me back to the motel. Yeah, here we go. Right, let's get to those thorns. I hear breathing! <laughs> mm. Oh boy, right, it's one of the big ones. Oh jeez, okay. Can I just run around? Oh, there's another one! There's another one! Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, right, yes, okay. 
I mean, that is a viable strategy, right? Running away. <laughs> you can do that in Silent Hill. This is kind of Silent Hill-like. Oh, boy. Okay. This car is broken and rusty. It looks like it's been here a long time. And it's on its side. You're not going to mention that? <sighs> right, so we, are we back on this road? The road that leads to the hospital? Hmm. Okay. Left. Right. I think it's going to have to be left. Through here? Yeah, that seems to work. Another giant red tree. Really does remind me of Deadly Premonition. At least in that sense. Not in every other sense. <laughs> but the red tree, certainly. Oh, hello. You're one of the small ones. I can take you on. Come on. Oh, there you go. You didn't put up much of a fight, did you? I'm liking this stronger flashlight. Yeah, I can't go that way. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. Big area. I'm not having too much luck with the doors around here. Hmm. Maybe I won't be opening any more doors until I reach the hospital. Oh, something over here? Yeah, another door that I can't open. More ammo? More ammo, right, thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, okay. So, tree or fiery chimneys? <laughs> what have we got here? Oh. Oh, these are, these are gallows. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. I think that might be her. That's Medorak, isn't it? She's not dead. Not yet. Medorak, what happened to you? I told you they were going to catch me because of you. No. Me. Forgive me. It was my mistake. I should have handed you over to them. I'll help you get out of here. Go away! Ezrak will soon show up and execute me. If you're here, we'll both die. I'll help you one last time. I heard the Acolyte say that there's a human trapped in the hospital. I believe it's something to do with you. It could be my husband, Jonathan. He was in the hospital in my world. Or maybe this is your chance to return to your world. Go save him! Thank you so much. For everything. And forgive me. Right, so... That's it? Your husband must have been here a long time ago. Maybe he's not who you knew anymore. Hmm. I can't cut her loose. I can't... I can't help her out. There's no one here. No one's gonna see. Yeah. Alright, well I guess I'll just have to leave her to it. Something down here. Thank you again. Okay. Right. Okay. So, let's see. How much further down the road can I go? There's, there's maybe a, a door to the fence. Ah, yeah, okay. I, I can't go through. Yeah, I, I'm not having much luck with the doors around here, am I? I'm just going to stop checking, honestly. Down here? Was that another? Yeah, broken and rusty car. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Seen that before. Alright. I'm hearing breathing. And I'm seeing an enemy. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can kind of parry in this game. It does some damage, but it doesn't do as much damage if they hit you. Alright. Hmm. Is it that way, towards the tree? Probably. Don't know if I'm going to be able to get through here. No, can't open the door. That's alright, that's alright. Let's see then. Ah, oh, is this blocking the way? Oh no, not completely. It's so dark, it's it's really hard to navigate, even with the stronger flashlight. Oh wow. Look at all these bodies. Hmm, okay. Is this the hospital? Oh wait. There's a metal chain blocking the door, but there's no lock. And this isn't going to cut it, literally. 
Uh, shit. So a metal chain, but no lock. Do I need bolt cutters? Uh, right. That's definitely where I want to go, but I don't think I can go in there quite yet. What about those fiery chimneys? I think I saw a way to them earlier on, before the gallows. Maybe that's where I should be going. Down here? Looks like a straight road directly to them. Okay. Any enemies around here? Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, I can hear the breathing again. They breathe so loudly. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I block and it doesn't do the animation, but you can hear the sound, meaning that it actually did work. Right. Let's see then. I assume like all the other doors, yeah. I can't get through here. We are getting closer to this place though. This must be it. This this must be where I find the bolt cutters, right? Wait, can I go around? Ah, I can go around. Good, good. Alright. Oh boy. There you go. <laughs> you just stood there and took it, didn't you? Wow. You got anything for me? No, it doesn't seem like it. Alright. Can we go through? Yes, we can. Okay, right. Let's see if we can find some bolt cutters. The door is locked on the other side. Okay, that's a bit of a pain. Can we climb in through a window? Maybe we need to go around. Oh. Hello. Oh, yeah, hello. You can talk. Barak, you seem scared. You want to kill me. No need to fear. I'm not some kind of zombie or madman. In fact, no one around here is. We're just ordinary people living in misery and fear. So why do you want to kill me? You wouldn't understand. Are they sort of jealous of my life or something? I don't know. I'm very hungry. Some old bread would be really nice right now. Okay. I guess I'll see what I can do. Thanks for not killing me, I guess. Maybe he's only not killing me because he doesn't have a weapon, I'm not sure. Right, are we going up? Looks like we might be going up. As long as we don't go in via the chimneys, I think we'll be okay. Right. Okay. I'll grab that, and I guess I'll save. Here we are at the factory now. This is pretty good, this game. Yeah, I'm liking it. I don't think it's quite to the level of Nightmare of Decay, but it's, you know, it's, it's on the right lines. A few tweaks here and there, and it might get a little bit better. Alright. There's something over there that I can't reach, unfortunately. Looks like I can go down there. Oh, really? Oh, man. Why can't I step up? Zoe, come on. <laughs> I just want to get to that door. And that lever, I think. Maybe I can go down and around. I can hear breathing again. What's all this? These are very old machines. If they work, what do they do? I'm not sure. Do we need to operate them at some point? Hmm. Okay. Seems like a bit of a dead end this way. Nothing there? No? Alright. And the other side? Where is that breathing coming from? It sounds like it's real close. I don't know. Here? Okay, this shutter works. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's go this way. How are we doing ammo-wise, by the way? Still not great, but not terrible. I'll stick with the hatchet a little bit longer. Right. Up here? Okay. 
come on. Oh, one way trip. One way trip. Hopefully it's worth it. Ah, there's some ammo down there. That's good. The door's locked from the other side. Not the first time I've seen that in this game. That's alright. Where is the breathing coming from? <laughs> it might be me, or it might be the machinery that's making all these noises. I don't know. Alright. Very old machines again, yeah. Okay, it looks like I, I can't go to the other side. Maybe if I go around, though? Uh-huh, alright. Ah, oh, check this out. A metal chain blocking the door. No lock. Right, we need to find the bolt cutters to get through there. What about this one? Oh. So, which one's this? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Alright, so, around this way? Well, there is something. Letter from a worker. Go on, let's get some insight here. I came to work in this factory to try to bring a little more dignity to my family. In this decadent world, everyone thought that working here would be the best one could have around here. But here is almost a punishment. The supervisor is a damn sadist. He offends and abuses us all the time. He does everything to destroy our lives in here. The environment is dark, hot, smelly and unhealthy. Last week a guy fell into a machine and was completely ground. We continue working normally, day after day, and receiving ration as payment. I need this job. I have a family to feed. Wow, okay. Yeah, seems like we're in the better of the two dimensions. <laughs> you get a pretty rough ride here by the sounds of it. Okay, so is it up here? Is this where I need to go? Okay, up and around and, and down. I think I'm just learning to ignore that breathing at this point. Oh, hang on, right. There's a red light. Is this not going to work? It could be opened by some kind of mechanism. We did see a lever a little bit earlier, so if we can get to that maybe, that might open the door. Is it going to be this way? I kind of hope so, because I don't know about any other way. There's a distinct lack of enemies here as well. But not bodies. Wow. Why are there so many bodies here? Were they trapped before dying? Am I going to fall into the same trap? I don't know. Okay. Well, we're back on the upper level. Alright. Straight across then? Okay. Ah, I know where I am now. Yes, okay. What we got here? More rifle ammo. Lovely. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Nice little shortcut back, I suppose. Did that... Hold on. Has that actually locked this door? Oh, so it's one or the other, is it? Hmm, okay. This is going to be a little bit more of a puzzle, I think. Okay, well... Let's go through this all again and see what's changed. I guess certain doors are going to be closed, certain doors are going to be open now. So, where was it? Round here? Through this shutter? Okay. Oh, hello. Oh boy. Right. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're... Ah, you're wearing a bloody mask! I... Okay, I can't... I can't really hit the head. I can definitely hit the arm, though. Yeah, keep sticking that arm out for me. Ow! Oh, you are a pain in the ass. Right, okay. Well, here come the enemies. I guess we must be doing something right. I think what we need to do is go back to that door. That door that had the ladder next to it, right? So, this way? Yeah, this way. Up and over. Down there. There you go. Yeah. 
Yes, it's green now, so I can use this. Okay. Maybe this is going to take me towards the bolt cutters? It's going to take me somewhere. Somewhere I can save. Okay. Corrosive acid. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going very silent hill here. It's an acid capable of corroding metals. Cool, okay. Right, I'm not getting a good vibe from this place. And for good reason! There he is again. That's So that's Ezdrak, is it? Right. Right, I've done this once before, I can do it again. Uh-huh. Okay, oh, okay. He's attacking, that's a good time for me to reload. And do it all over again! Oh, at least he's not wearing one of those masks like that other guy. Jeez. Did you go down already? Ah, oh, really? Are we out? Are we completely out? No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, this is bad. No. Okay, he's going into that three attack. Well, that was easy enough. Okay. <laughs> right. Are you actually dead this time? Hold on. Let me make sure. <laughs> come on. Do not come back, Ezra. I've ended you in your little cult. Okay, another syringe. That's good. A couple more boxes over here. Rifle ammo. Okay. Is that all we're going to find around here? That is all we're going to find around here, it seems. Okay. Oh no, hold on. There you go. A bit more revolver ammo as well. Brilliant. Okay. Right, so with this corrosive acid, I suppose I can get through... I can get through both chains, right? The chains on the hospital and the chains on that door that are in the factory. Alright. So which door's this? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. Oh, okay, I'm just running. Ah, Jesus Christ! Fucking... Okay, right. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This way. Corrosive acid. Yeah, okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, well, here's one of the places that I wanted to go. Look at all this. Oh, bread! Oh, actually, that guy, what was his name, Jirak? He wanted bread. Theft of the Grimoire. Go on. It is believed that many ages ago, our world was prosperous. The Great Tree gave us the Grimoire, a book that had the ability to heal the sick, bring bountiful harvests, make the sun shine brighter. The list of blessings contained in this book was enormous. Some blessings were explicitly forbidden because they were too powerful. One day, a human appeared in our world and we were very receptive. He stayed here for weeks and was very interested in the grimoire. Fucking human. This man disappeared, possibly back to his world. He took our grimoire with him. Since then, our crops have rotted, our sick have died, the sky has become cloudy. The great tree has withered away. So that's why they hate humans so much? Because of one bad egg? Right. Well, I can kind of understand, I suppose. Um... Right. This might be better to deal with the guys with the masks, so I can actually target their body parts that aren't their head. He's forgotten all about me. Okay. This is the front door, isn't it? Yeah, we're out, we're out. Okay, um, before I go, I, I do have some bread. <laughs> Don't know if you're kidding or not. Are you still there? You are. Hi. Here's your bread. I'm very grateful. Is that all? Yes. What did you expect? The reward? That's why no one likes humans around here. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the bread. And thanks for nothing, I guess. Nah, I can't do it to him. He didn't try and kill me. I won't try and kill him. Right. Okay. So, I, I assume I've still got some of that corrosive acid, yeah? Yeah. Okay. We are heading to the hospital. We're heading to our husband. Okay. Yeah. I'm enjoying this game. It's it's really bare bones and it's really simple and with a few tweaks it could be a lot better in my opinion. But I am enjoying it. It was really cheap as well, so I can't really complain. Okay, so... 
Um, I guess I could maybe check in with our soon-to-be-executed friend. She's going to be around till... She was around here. Uh, and now she's burning to cinders. Um, it's hard to make out in this darkness, but there's... There's quite a few of them over there that I probably don't want to interfere with. I think I'm too late. And she she didn't want to be helped anyway, right? Ah, oh, that sucks. Thank you, Medarak. Thank you. Right, let me just get to the hospital. Let's see if we can find my husband. Get the fuck out of here. Here we are then. Back at the hospital. Back at the chains. Which I can now deal with. Yes, okay. We're in. Ah, the phone rings yet again. Zoe, it's me, Richard. Oh, Richard, how nice to hear your voice. I mean the same. I miss you. I really wanted to see you. My husband's working tonight, so I'll be home alone all night. Is that an invitation? You're damn right it is. Ooh, I'll bring that wine you like. Ooh, you were having an affair, were you, Zoe? Right. Ooh. Okay, things are things are sort of falling into place, honestly. Right. So we are at the hospital, I can confirm. Anything back here? No? Right. Uh this way? Okay. Yeah. Oh hello. <laughs> it's been a while since I actually used this gun on you guys. Alright. Let's get back to the hatchet. Right, so what have we got around here? Let's try this door. The lock seems so common. That's a very strange thing to say, but okay. <laughs> what about this one? I can't open that door. Does it have a common lock? No? You didn't comment on that one. Okay, this lock has a symbol of a skull. So are we looking for a skull key and a, a common key? And there's nothing else here? Yeah, doesn't seem like it. Right, I guess I'll be back a little bit later on. This way? Okay. Yeah. Doesn't seem like a great place to heal, does it? Although there are health supplies. Something else as well. Is that rifle ammo? No, it's a syringe. Of course it is. That makes sense. Rifle ammo in a hospital. Silly me. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Down to the basement. Is that where Jonathan is? Or a lesser, maybe? <laughs> okay. How far does it go? Alright. Here we are then. Okay. Again, I'm going to need some sort of skull key to open this door. What is all this? This seems to be connected to the door in some way. There are three places for keys, each with a different colour. I guess one's going to be the skull key, the common key, and then something else? Right. This is the mechanism, isn't it? Okay. What you got down there? Rifle ammo! Okay, so you do find rifle ammo in the hospital. <laughs> ah, there's one. It's a common key! Right, so I, I guess we're going to go back behind reception. Right, okay. Hmm. We're going to need three other keys, I suppose. So, back the way we came? We can't go any further? There's nothing else down there? Alright. One of these bodies could be Jonathan's, I don't know. I hope not, but maybe. What was it? The door on the right. This one here? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hold on. There you go. Alright. Lots of books, but uh, no time to read, really. There's nothing else. Okay, so... What did that do, I wonder? Can't open that door. That was the skull. Okay, I need the skull key for that. Uh, maybe there's somewhere else I can use the common key. Maybe through here. We haven't been through here yet. Okay. 
Right. You. Me and you, one on one. Let's do it. Oh! Oh, there we go. <laughs> In here? Oh, you can't see me coming. I think I just sort of dazzled him with my circling tactic, honestly. He wasn't ready for that. Okay, what else we got? Doors jammed. I'm hearing breathing from... maybe here? Oh, hello. Right, I don't think I've got the room to use the, the circling tactic here. There we go. It does actually seem to do the trick, no joke. <laughs> okay, that, yep, that's jammed. In here. Well, there's something. Okay, more rifle ammo. Not that I need rifle ammo now that I know the circling tactic. Alright, a locker room? Looks like it. Are you gonna find anything in these lockers? Or is this all just pointless? Because it seems to me kinda pointless. Right, two more doors. Okay. A storeroom, maybe? Uh, something over there. Another analgesic, yep. Alright. Is that a new weapon? Or It seems to be a couple. I wonder why they were killed so brutally. With a pitchfork, no less. Hmm. Nothing there. Can't open any of these. Doesn't seem like it. Weird. Alright, across to this door? No, I can't open this one. But this one's green, so I should be able to go through. Now we're going up, are we? Okay. Maybe I'm going to find one of these keys up here. Oh, I think this is the end of the line. Oh, don't you hate it when you go to the hospital and there's so many beds on the stairs? It's just the worst. Okay, I'm hearing breathing from in here. Hello. <laughs> Alright. Oh, she's kind of stunned again. She goes into that weird anim ah, animation. Oh, <laughs> she took a swing, but it was a miss. Right. Okay, that's not Jonathan, I hope. That door's jammed. Over here. Can't open this door, because I just don't want to. Okay. It's over here. Is that a syringe? It is, isn't it? I might as well use one of them. i got five. There you go. <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem like there's difficulty options for this game. If there was a hard mode, that might have been better. A bit more of a challenge. Might make it a little bit more scary for me as well. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, the AI is kind of dumb. <laughs> oh, hello. Well, that's that's actually working. <laughs> it's working. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. There you go. I thought I'd help you out there. Another body. Oh, there's actually some more ammo down there. There's probably going to be another boss fight, right? I don't think Ezdrak's actually dead. Wouldn't be surprised if it is him again. Alright. Still haven't found any of these three keys. Maybe through here? Right. You and me, one on one. Let's do it. Okay. Ah. You got me there. It's because I didn't circle around you. Oh no. This seems to be connected to the door in some way. There's a fuse box with one missing. There's always a fuse issue. Right. Okay, uh, we need to find a fuse then, don't we? We need to find a fuse. Okay. Let's check out the toilets first. Ooh. A skull key! I don't know if that's one of the the three keys that we need for that mechanism in the basement, but we need that for a couple of doors. Hello. Right, come on. Come on. 
Oh, there we go. I struggle with the range just like you seem to be doing. There you go. Right. Is there anything in there? Uh, yes. A blue key. Right, so there was a tag on that that was blue. Did it say anything? Or Maybe that's one of the three for the mechanism in the basement. That's for the doors, though. Right, yeah, okay. Anything in this one? This one? Ah, okay, well, at least we found one. Two more of those to find. And, well, maybe I'm going to find them through the skull doors. I need to find a fuse as well. Right, okay, so we're going back on ourselves here. So there's a skull door... There's a skull door that I need to open in the basement, right next to that mechanism, and there's also one behind reception, right? Okay, so let's just get back there as quick as possible. Let's try the one behind reception first, over here. This one? Yep. Okay. A red key, okay. And what's this? A love letter. Different. Wasn't expecting that. I write with trembling hands, fearing for our lives. In the midst of this misery, I found something rare. Someone to call love. Something I thought was impossible for years. At night, we hide in the storage, defying the brutality that surrounds us. But the punishment for our love is death. They say love only brings misery. We are forced to live in the shadows, always fearing being discovered. If someone finds this record, know that true love existed here, resisting against the cruelty of this perverse world. Our fragile flame amid the darkness. The two people killed with the pitchfork, maybe? That's a shame. Right, okay. One more key to find. Might be through here. Yeah, okay, we need to go back down to the basement. Right. Do you think Jonathan's going to be through that? That door ahead of me? Hmm. Right, can we add the keys? We can. So we're looking for a green key. Okay. Through here? Alright. Not what I'm after, but research on the plague. Go on. I've been studying this plague that afflicts our people for a long time. This deadly disease came unexpectedly. Many believe it would be another punishment for our miserable people. A punishment from the great tree that withered. My theory from the beginning was that it was a disease caused by the increasingly constant presence of humans in our vicinity. Fortunately, Esdrak provided me human test subjects so that I could conduct some experiments. It seems my theory was right from the start. Right. So it's us. Ah, oh, that's the fuse, isn't it? Right, that's the fuse, so we can go and use the elevator, which hopefully is going to take us to that third key. Yeah. Oh, not you! Oh, I, I can't be bothered with you, honestly. I, <laughs> there we go. Right. I'm just going to rush back upstairs. Here we go. It was just the one we needed? Good. Right. Now it's working. Okay. This one? Syringe? No, something else to read. Esdrak notes two. Okay, I was wondering if I actually missed that earlier. Few people know, even among the acolytes, that a sage and I are working hard to recreate the great tree. It's been difficult, but we've made a lot of progress recently. Indeed, the red trees are a primal matter to create the seeds that will bring prosperity back to us. However, it has been challenging to keep them alive and prosperous after germination. The sage and I made a surprising discovery a few months ago. Human flesh and blood have proven to be excellent fertilizers. With some humans, we manage to make a seed germinate and grow, but for it to become a great tree, we will need much more flesh and blood. Wow. Yeah, this is seeming kind of deadly premonition, honestly. <laughs> there it is. Right. The green key. Now we can go back to the basement and we can open that door. And hopefully find- Oh shit! Jonathan. Right. <laughs> okay, alright, there you go. It's a valid strategy, just running the fuck away! Oh boy. Generally speaking, I am faster than them. So, yeah. And it seems, you know, like me. To attack, they need to slow down. So if I keep running, they don't get a chance. Whoa! <laughs>
Oh. Hello. How you doing? Kyle! Zoe, I finally found you. I found a way to return to our world. There's something like a potion that would help us regain consciousness in our world. And do you have that potion? Not yet, but it's somewhere in this hospital. I'll keep looking. I would help you search, but I need to find my husband first. Right. I just hope it's not too hard to find that potion. No. Right, let's go and save again. Hopefully we don't need to go back that way. <laughs> right. Whoa! Shit! I'm so glad that these doors aren't locked. <sighs> okay. Right, there's going to be another one down here, isn't there? Uh, one of the guys with the masks. Here he is. <laughs> he has no idea that I'm breathing on his neck. Right, okay. Three, two, one, go! Okay! Yes! We're through. Oh my goodness. Look at the red trees sprouting. This really is reminding me of Deadly Premonition. I was kind of kidding to begin with, but yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if that was some sort of influence. The blood from this person seems to have been completely drained. They're draining the blood from this body. Are they watering this tree with the blood? Yeah, it seems to be working as well. Something else to read, yeah. Okay, notes number three now. For us to make our seed grow, we need a lot of human flesh and blood to fertilize it. However, humans appeared very sporadically around here. Sage Hans Crack has a lot of knowledge about travels between worlds. We saw that. Wasn't that the doctor that invited us to the hospital? Like one of his names. <laughs> anyway, uh, he's got a lot of knowledge about travels between worlds and managed to create a method to bring more humans here. Most of those who come to our world are unconscious in their world. Thus, we can capture them when they come here and perform a ritual to summon people who are spiritually connected to them. Hands will play an important role going to their world to harvest more humans. Right. So he's one of these guys in disguise? Right. Wow. Okay. This is, uh, this is definitely a rifle moment. <laughs> I'm getting those boss vibes again. Is this him? Is this Jonathan? Jonathan? It can't be. What are they doing to you? I'll get you out of here before anyone shows up. Ah, <laughs> uh, look who it is. Oh. Alright. Oh boy. What the hell's happened to him? It seems like you found your husband. You're the one to blame for him being here, aren't you? If he were awake, he would surely despise you right now. He- Oh, here comes the health bar. He's already a dead man, in this world and in yours. Your fate will be the same. We see about that. Oh boy. Oh, he's transformed. He's- Oh! Oh boy! Okay. What the hell was that? Oh, okay. Right, he's got some ranged attacks now. Okay, alright. Oh, okay. Let me just heal up. And... Oh, hello. Oh, boy. Okay, right. Whoa, bloody hell. Okay. Nice to see you face to face. Now you're not wearing that burlap sack on your head. Wow, okay. So, yeah, I guess uh, he was the one that put up the thorns earlier. Alright. He's got a couple of new attacks, but he's still fairly... <sighs> <laughs> He's still fairly easy. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Oh, they hurt. They really hurt. You know what? Yeah. I'm not messing around. Come on. It shouldn't be a case of me just backing up and shooting him, really, but it is. If the combat was tweaked a little bit, if it was just a little bit more challenging, this game would be so much better. Ow, ow, ow. Oh! Oh! For the third time, he pirouettes to death. Is this the last time? <sighs> third time's the charm, right? Uh, he's not looking too good, but he's not looking like all the other corpses that I've seen. Oh, hey, have you just been watching the entire time? <laughs>
Oh, here we go again. So, driving on the road. Who's Richard? Jonathan asks. Richard? Uh, it's Emily's brother and a friend of mine. Friend? I know what you've been up to lately. I don't know what you're talking about. You're drunk. Liar! Emily told me everything. Emily is a lying bitch. Will you believe her? She showed me pictures and videos. Zoe, you're cheating on me with Richard in our house while I work. Say something! Why are you speeding so much? Stop the car and let's talk better. I'm getting scared. Stop this car. I'm not going to fucking stop. Watch out! <laughs> and the accident that put him in a coma. It's all becoming clear. Right. Am I going to have to fight you now? Or him? Or, I don't know. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Um... So, there was a box down here. Grab the ammo there. I think I did see a couple more, though. So, hold on, Kyle. Wait one moment. <laughs> here we go. Okay, another syringe. Good stuff. Around here? Yep. Not in there. I think there was another one around this side as well. Yeah, there was. Lovely. Okay. So, uh, hi. How you doing? Zoe, I found the potion. Where? <laughs> was there somewhere I missed? I guess there was. You're amazing. Did you find your husband? Yes, he's right there, unconscious. Great. Finally, the three of us can escape from this macabre place. Well, I'm going to test this potion now. I don't want to stay another second in this place. See you soon. Goodbye. Hey. Well, something happened to him. Maybe he's going even deeper into the dimension, deeper into this nightmare. I don't know. Right. I guess I need to give it to him? Finally, we'll go back home, my love. I hope you can forgive me for everything that happened between us. Alright. Hmm. Let's see then. Ah, yeah. I hope it works, as Kyle said. So how do we use it? But, oh, all right. Oh, and we're back on the bus. And it's like no time has passed either. It was just a blip. Is anyone actually driving? I <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. I want to see my husband, Jonathan. Ah, oh, hands. Hello, Mrs. Zoe. I'm Dr. Hans, the doctor in charge of your husband. Dr. Hans. Hans Crack? That's me! How... How is Jonathan? Zoe, I sent you that letter because, according to all analyses, we thought his condition would be irreversible. However, against all odds, he had a surprising improvement. Right. When I assessed him, I found some memory problems. Oh, maybe he doesn't remember about me cheating. When I asked if he remembered his own name, he said his name was... Ezdrak. Oh! He also remembered you. He said he can't wait to see you again. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Three boss fights with the motherfucker, and he doesn't die. In fact, he comes back inside my near-dead husband. Hope really has gone, hasn't it? <laughs> that was Hope is Gone, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video, alright? I enjoyed that overall. Yeah, it was a it was a cheap game. It was a fun experience overall, though. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the combat. Although it, it it doesn't quite reach the heights of games like Nightmare of Decay, unfortunately, it's lacking that special something. I think if this game had a couple of difficulty options, if the AI, the combat was tweaked a little bit, it'd be a lot better. But what I played was fun, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm-hmm. Yep, E to use. I kind of had to figure that out to look at this in the first place, but fair enough. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Dr. Hans Crack. <laughs> Wait. Dr. Hans Sauerkraut? Dr. Hans Crack? Which one is it? Uh... Ooh. What the fuck?
Oh, you can chop their heads off? That's fantastic. Wow, okay. <laughs> you were right up in my face. You got exactly what you deserved. <laughs> Is that the red tree from Deadly Premonition? <laughs> kind of looks like it. R Hello. Okay, down we go. I hate climbing down ladders in games. I always get it wrong. It's down here. Oh! A rifle! Oh, yes! Oh, it, he's down! Hey! No, he's down. Okay. <laughs> he just had to die twice. Alright, back to her house. She's gonna be... dead. This car is broken and rusty. It looks like it's been here a long time. And it's on its side. You're not gonna mention that? Oh man, why can't I step up? Zoe, come on. <laughs> I just want to get to that door. Ow! Oh, you are a pain in the ass. Okay. Okay, we're going very Silent Hill here. <laughs> right. Are you actually dead this time? Hold on. Let me make sure. <laughs> I'm just going to run. Oh, okay. I'm just running. Ah, Jesus Christ. Fucking. Okay, right. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I guess I could maybe check in with our soon-to-be-executed friend. She's going to be around here. Oh. The lock seems so common. That's a very strange thing to say, but okay. Yeah. Oh, not you! Oh, I, I can't be bothered with you, honestly. <laughs> now we can go back to the basement and we can open that door. And hopefully find- Oh, shit! Okay! Yes! We're through. Oh my goodness. When I asked if he remembered his own name, he said his name was... Ezdrak. Oh! 